Hello and welcome to the Hot Chips Year Now review for Star Wars Battlefront 1. No, it's actually 3, but it's not, not a number. <laughs> it's, it's confusing. Yeah, so it's, um, it is the same exact title as the original, mm -hmm. but it's a completely different game. So a bit of backstory, because I never played the originals. So there was a uh, Star Wars Battlefront just called Star Wars Battlefront, or yeah. was it called Battlefront 1? No, it was Battlefront 1. Battlefront, yeah. Okay, and then there was 2. Yeah. And now they've gone back to the original title. Yeah. So the old reboot style. That's interesting. A bit of the history is they started making three. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was the number one Star Wars game sales wise ever. Right. Yeah. And then everyone was really confused as to why they never made a follow up. And basically, the follow up Star Wars Battlefront 3 went through development hell. And it was thrown to different mm -hmm. studios. They kept shutting down. No one ever got it. Um, and then uh, when Star Wars was sold to Disney, yes. uh, LucasArts uh, gave the rights to make the newest Battlefront to DICE, the makers of Battlefield. Battlefield. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, what is your history of the previous games? Yeah, so I, I've only ever played them like couch co-op or at a mate's house once or twice. That right. was my entire history right. with it. Like I knew it existed, I'd played it a couple of times, never owned it. Uh, yeah, I played both. Uh, not significantly, but enough to have gotten used to everything. Yeah, um, and just a bit on top of that, we actually recently saw a couple of screenshots and videos of what would have been the Battlefront Three, and it looked yeah. pretty fantastic. It was yeah. it was still sort of pre um, Battlefield Four kind of look at, looking style, mm. even though yeah, EA didn't have. Well, I think it was. Like I think it was developed for the PS two at the time. Really? So, yeah, it must oh. have been looking pretty good. It, it looked three wow, style so to me. It looked really Oh, good. maybe it was three. I'm no. not sure, but it was in development for a long time. Been a long time coming. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, my previous experience, I owned both the Battlefronts before this. Yes. I loved them. Like I put Battlefront 2 as my favourite <laughs> PlayStation you know, game up until this point. Uh, Fanboy, you might. Yeah, I, I was. And I was, um, I was concerned about this game going forward being made by DICE, and, and I was worried it would feel a lot like Battlefield which I've never really been a fan of. Mm. Okay. Um, so, you know the format. What we're going to do is we're each going to do a 30-second review of the game. Mm. Amy, are you hosting or are you um, going to um, challenge well, us or are you going to put your own review in? I'll put my own review in, I think. Oh, I've yeah. played a little bit. So, yeah, just to quickly uh, cover, I've played um, only the co-op modes, uh, the, what is the wave, where the waves come mode called? Um, survival. Yeah, survival and a bit of the... Um, Co-op versus AI the, that we yeah, played the, the other day. Yeah, yeah, so I've yeah. only played the co-op modes and no more than a few hours. Yep, cool. Um, How much have you guys played? Loads. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see in bit. I'll see so, in yeah, loads. These guys have played loads, so yeah, take my opinion with a grain of salt yeah. today. <laughs> we're, both, we're both around level 19, I think. No, I'm, okay. I'm 18, I just got 18. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's start there then. We each get 30 seconds and then we have to give it a year or a nah as whether or not... Uh, we approve of the game, uh, and we'll start with Amy. Okay, sure. I've probably got the least to say. So, um, it's great. Like, it's a shooty, shooty, great Star Wars game. <laughs> um, it looks beautiful. Like, the, it's like candy for your eyes. It looks really, really great. And if you want to jump around and play a shooty, shooty game as a Star Wars character, then it's totally 100% going to serve the purpose that you want it to do. Um, from what I've seen and know of the other modes, I think it offers a lot more than that though, so I'll let these guys reiterate on that, but it satisfies my needs as a Star Wars shooty shooty game. <laughs> cool, that's just on 30 seconds. Alright, I will go next, because we're doing it in this order apparently. Okay, watch it. Cool. Um, so basically, this is uh, the reason I love this game. It's a really accessible shooter. Um, anyone can jump into it, whether you're big into shooters or not. It's really easy to pick up and play. You never feel like you're really at a disadvantage if you're new to the game. Um, everything prioritizes fun. They've taken out all those things from a modern day shooter like kill streaks and, and make it quite complex. And they've really stripped it back to the game's just about getting in and having fun. And I've never kind of walked away from it not having fun. Oh, sh oh man, that was like my second point. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to come yeah. around. He's out. Alright. Alright. What are your thoughts there? Um, it's really tough to put anything else that these guys haven't already said. It's incredibly fun, um, and there's there's loads of modes, there's loads of, way of ways to play, and I think it caters to a lot of different play styles and modes as well, and again, it's all designed for fun. Like, I really want to emphasize that. It is all designed for just jumping in and having fun. And um, and having all that variety associated with that kind of fun. So yeah, there's nothing really else that I can add to what what Jordan actually said. He, he reiterated it really well. Cool. So that was our, our 30 second breakdown. Now stay on with us if you want. I mean, there's not going to be really any spoilers the year so because yes, yeah, there is no spoilers. We should probably do the year now yes. part. Yes. I think it was pretty obvious. We all give it a year. Yeah. So yeah. 
Yeah, so blasting ahead, um, we're going to go on now and talk into more of the points and more detail. Um, so stick with us if you can. If you're going to head off because uh, you're, you're time poor, then just hit the subscribe button and come back later. Like, we're not really going to spoil anything, are we? No, no, no there's nothing really to spoil. Yeah, there's no story in this game, yeah. right? Yeah, so actually, let's start with that. The, yeah. the game has no story mode. Um, does that kind take of, away from it? Kind of. What, what would you consider um, the story mode? It's, it's not really story mode, but there are bits within the uh, survival game where you get little cutscenes, and they don't mm. really give away much, but if you do know the movies and you you're you're like even just a semi fan like me like i'm not a super fan or anything like that but i know lots about the star wars universe um those little cutscenes do give away a little bit as to what happened between the era of um of a new home oh sorry of um the three and four yeah. <laughs> let's go three and four yeah. and make it just a bit easier um definitely in terms of salts in terms of the new the new planet and and what you see there and they go to the planet and get the plans and things and that was kind of outside of the universe and EA is, is kind of acknowledging it there sorry um Disney is kind of acknowledging it there yeah just by the fact that they've, they've gone away with the extended universe mm -hmm. um but there are little bits and pieces that you can glean for it that being said it's not really a story yeah, that you can no, follow and relate no to right? but there are little snippets which I think is kind of a nice detail and this game has a lot of detail to it cool I mean go going through and reading a lot of the internet comments and the commentary about the game a lot of people are really upset it doesn't have a story mode but they're upset because it's such a beautiful game mm. that a story mode would have been really amazing yeah but like it's it's an unfair argument because this game was not about that no. yeah. it is a battlefront game yeah um and it does make people feel like they're missing out like there could be a game that's really heavily story-based rpg action game with graphics like this that would be amazing and i think that's what people are upset about mm -hmm. but in terms of this being a battlefront game i think it does that perfectly and mm -hmm. it doesn't really lose much from not having a story did the original battlefront games have campaigns mm. so it had um it had a really clever mode not really where um you would play the battles, the maps, yes. in the order of which they appear over the um, continuity oh, of the series. To me, cool. which is not a campaign. No, not But there really. was an underlying story you would read through. It was a narrative, like right. between maps that they would give you the context. That's kind of cool. That's it was a guided game kind of reading, reading yeah. through. Yeah. Okay. And to be honest, it's. I mean, you could just play through the maps in order as they are right now, but that's that's not really how it's done. It's but not still. Quite a um, you, you could do that, but it, it wouldn't be hard for EA to honestly just add an overlay map and say, here are the maps, let's mm. just do a couple of battles and things. I feel like that is something they could make a lot of money out of, and that's like a smart move from EA, that they could just make it as sort of an add-on DLC kind of thing. Right. Um, so I, I don't see it as a, as a thing that'll never happen. It's, mm. I think it's potential for the future, because okay. people have demanded it so, and it's not hard to do. I'm actually really excited about the DLC for this game, mm. which is strange, because, you know, DLC is kind of always this thing which has been like, it's an optional extra for, for the people that really want it. But this is a lot of DLC. Yeah, there, and right? the reason yeah. I'm really excited about this DLC is they've not said anything about it. And that might seem really strange and like EA pulling funny business, but I believe the reason they haven't said anything about it is because they can't, because there is restrictions placed on them by for Disney the movie, for the yeah. movie to come yeah. out first. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, so when the movie releases, I think we're going to see a flood of information to say these are the battlefields coming out. Um, based on the movie, cool. these are the heroes based on the movie, and everything. And that whole DLC yeah. pack will be those heroes, <laughs> and I think that'll be really cool. And I think that, yeah. um, and I'm really excited about that. Um, it, it makes it hard from obviously a pre-order point of view because yeah. at the moment you can buy this season pass, which is uh, really expensive, like eighty bucks New Zealand, yeah. um, but a lot of content. But they aren't able to tell you what any of the content is. Interesting. Mm. So it's a really okay. interesting proposition. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I think we should talk about a couple of the negatives that uh, the game comes, because this is a year and a NAR review. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so some of the NARs from the game, um, which I was, you know, a little bit disappointed with, because um, I thought it would have made the game better. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of, the, the co-op mode is underdeveloped. Yeah. Um, and this is a game that, you know, as I said, anyone can pick up and play, which means that, you know, your friends that might not have been hard out into shooters can come along, sit down on the couch with you and play this game. True. Um, and it's good that there is a co-op mode there and it's still fun. Yeah. But it is, um, it doesn't have as much love as the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I would have liked to see, you know, a bit more creativity because it is really just the horde mode, you know, with the waves coming in, you defeat mm -hmm. the waves and then you can kind of do like a one on one team yeah. deathmatch. Couple, couple of minutes. That makes me really yeah. sad mm -hmm. that I haven't played anything other than the co-op now. Yeah. I'm still sad that I didn't like, have a copy you had the beta, didn't you? I did have the beta, and I really wanted to play the game, I just unfortunately didn't get a copy this time around. The best modes are the large maps that have multiple things going on, like the walkers coming down the map, there's air battles going on mm -hmm. at the same time that there's 
people trying to complete the objectives on the ground. Right. And even, you know, this game would have, a split screen online mode would have been perfect for this game because it is that kind of game. Why is everyone ditching split screen online? I just think that, um, it's probably a cost thing. They probably just, uh, look at the statistics and find out, you know, uh, in Battlefield, you know, they had it, I think Battlefield 3 had it. Uh, and they probably, they probably did the, um, the numbers and were like, oh, 90% of people aren't playing that. Right. And then they were just like, oh, what's the point for this 10% of people? But for this game, where it is so easy to pick up and play, I think that the value of split screen online would have been amazing. Mm. Um, and, and even if they couldn't do that, open up those bigger maps to, to, to co-op a co-op mode, mode yeah. with just bots playing. Yeah. Because I think that would have been really fun as well. That would have been excellent, yeah. I wonder if there was playtesting involved in that and they just found the maps were too large and you never really interacted with each other. I, I, I don't know. I'm just wondering. Um, but I, I feel like it, it would have been playtested and they would have looked at it. Mm. I don't know. The large Call of Duty maps, you can still play local co-op. Um, Call of Duty has large maps? You no, know, by, you know, <laughs> definition, they're large for Call of Duty. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably not as large as this game. Fair mm. point. Fair point. So, and my only other negative with the game is that I think the customization options are really slim. Right. Really? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh. Like. I, yeah, in I mean, terms of in terms of I think the um, like the, the weapons and stuff is good and that's the right level right. Um, I like the fact they have toned that down a bit so you can't you know scope and upgrade your weapons I think that having like a set of standard weapons is a good way to go for this game okay. mm-hmm. um, but I would have liked to see more customization op- options in terms of appearance oh, yeah. like oh, right. the oh, appearance have you, yeah so so have you gone through the appearance options for yeah. both factions all of the um, player yeah. character models I think there's tons. Oh, really? I mean, I, I think there's not enough mix and match options for you to play around mm-hmm. with, but I, I feel like there are... Actually, I, I do feel like the Empire have, have basically nothing. Yeah. Um, but but in terms of the Rebels, they've got loads. If you look at lo- a lot of the level 50 and level 40... But it's always like white man, white man with a beard, no, white no, no. man with a haircut and a beard. Yeah, all the aliens. Yeah, but you have to be like you do. level, you do. level you do. 100 to... Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean... But the thing is, there's only about two for the Empire. Mm-hmm. Like one level 50 and one level 40, and yeah, it's like... Yeah. The, the black one and the slightly oh and the, sorry the sharpshooter one yeah and, that's it yeah and then there's about twenty aliens between level levels thirty and fifty for for the yeah, for the rebels which they're really cool and they're really well done but well, right. yeah I think it could have benefited from just like even you know my stormtrooper has one red arm or yeah, like something small like yeah. you can either be a stormtrooper that's white you can if you're level thirty or forty you can be a black one or you can be a scout trooper and that's it for the customization okay. options like. I mean, because in the movies they have these arm pads, right? These shoulder pads that are different colours. Yes. Like, you know, just even being able to change the colour of your shoulder pad or, yeah. or yeah. Um, you yeah. know, putting a cape on. A lot of the um, the original clone troopers had a lot of different customization options, mm-hmm. so that would have been really cool. Okay. And in Battlefront 2, I think there were six different classes that looked completely different. Mm-hmm. And some of them had, like, sashes around their waist and stuff. Okay. And yeah. they were very cool. And I would have liked to see more of that. But, um, yeah, yeah, overall, this is a great game. It's a game that... I've had the most fun with this year. I never finished it feeling like I didn't just have a good time. And yeah. it's like they make it pretty accessible and easy, right? Like there's all sorts of auto aim stuff going on, yeah. and it's it's generally a bit well, easier for console. For console, auto auto aim, yeah. <laughs> although you do have five squadron, never mind. Yeah, yeah it's, it's certainly it's fun. Really and watching those stormtroopers kind of go, <laughs> and like die yeah. the animations are great. <laughs> it's great. The animations there's are a, great. Oh, have you looked at the um at the what are they? They're not the cat calls. I don't know what they're called. And the, oh, the um, um the toys. emotes. Yeah, the yeah. emotes. Have you uh, some of those? Yeah, they're really. One good. of them is doing exactly what you did, going no, <laughs> and, and you just you, that, you get players walking around just doing that the entire game. It's Excellent. hilarious. Excellent. Yeah, like it. A lot of those are very fun. Um, but interesting in terms of um content and customization. Again, there's still that potential for it to grow mm. based on the DLC. So we'll see what they do. Yeah, based on that. true, true. But that terrifies me. Like I'd never buy a DLC that I I didn't know what was going on. And I'm, I'm still not gonna that terrifies me. Yeah, what yeah. are the numbers are like on that yeah. thus far? Probably not as spectacular as I think they might be post movie release. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Alright, so that about wraps it up for um our year now review of Star Wars Battlefront one. <laughs> um <laughs> if you're playing let us know in the comments what you think of it. Battlefront yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um and yeah, send us send us a message even if you want to jump into a game then just hit me up and we'll yeah. play some together. Like awesome. subscribe. All right, yeah. Well, like subscribe. We put our IGNs below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, they're Usually just trying to get friends now. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see you All next right. time. See you.